Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new project in Revit MEP. Particularly, we're going to learn how to create a new project from a mechanical template fresh from the get-go. We're going to learn how to link that architectural model that we always need. Also, we're going to look into creating and aligning levels and also how to copy monitor those levels. I'm going to show you different methods for that. You'll be the judge. You pick whichever you want. In addition, we're going to learn how to create new floor plans and how to create new reflected ceiling plans. So let's dive right into it. But before that, I'm going to ask you that if you enjoy this kind of content, please make sure you like the video, subscribe, hit that bell button so that you get notified whenever I create new content. So see you in Revit. All right, let's start a new HVAC model. First thing we do, we come here, new model. We have to specify which template we want to use. So we'll be down here under templates, US Imperial for me. And I'm going to select mechanical default. All right. Now the first thing to do is to link in our architectural model. So we have to go here to insert Revit and we go to wherever our architectural model is located. In this case, this is mine. Auto origin to origin, it's fine. So what this message is saying is that this model that we're bringing, the architectural, is bringing with it the structural link model. But you won't be able to see it because it's set as overlay. And that's what we want. So we just hit close. And that's our model. So for now, let's just uh, relocate this elevation slightly and make sure we have this guy over here now there are a couple of things we want to do with this architectural model the first one is we want to make sure we pin it down so that nobody can delete it by mistake and the second one is to come here to edit type and check room bounding so that we're able to create our spaces now let's take a look at our levels. So I'm going to go to this elevation here. And you can see how the architect has levels 1, 2, 3, and roof. Roof is behind this parapet. Uh, but we only have a level 1 and level 2. So one thing I like to do is first stretch my levels to the outside so that I can differentiate them. You can use some filtering options to change colors so that you can identify them easier. But in essence, the ones that you can select are your levels and these guys are the architect's levels. So uh, one thing we would like to do is to align our level two with the architect's level two. So if you come here to modify, you can find here the align tool, or you can simply do AL for the shortcut. So I like doing AL, select what you want to align to and what you want to align, and it's done. Now you have a couple of options. We want to create levels three and four. So one option would be you come here, you do create similar, and then you hit here, pick lines, and you pick this line and this line. And that would create two of your levels, right? So you can click here if you want and display it. You can take it out. And you can do the same with this one. right and you can rename that's one option so then you would rename this guy to level three 
Revit is asking you if uh, you want to rename the corresponding view. That would be this guy. You click yes. In this case, we want it to be level three. And then we do the same thing with level four. Yes, it's renaming. And I want to show you something instead of that, because now we would like to monitor these levels, right? And what that means is that if the architect moves level two, let's say to 13 feet, then it, it should give you, it should give us some kind of a warning that we should move our level two as well. So in order to do that, you would come here to copy monitor, select the link, and then you hover over the architectural model just to make sure that you're selecting the right thing. There it is, our link model. So this is the right one. Um, and then you would select here, monitor, All right? And then what do you want to monitor? You, you want to monitor this level to the architect's level, this level to level two from our, this level from this one, and this level from this one. And then you just hit finish. And then if you click on your levels, you'll find this little sign here, like a hard monitor. And that's telling you that is beam, that this is monitoring level two from the architect. Okay, so that's one option. Another option, which is the one I like the most, is because I, I undid all those steps right after aligning level two to the architect's level two. So I'm back to where I have to create levels three and the roof. So my favorite option, especially when you have several um, stories, would be to come here to copy monitor. You select your link. Make sure you're selecting the right thing. Yep. And then you go here to copy. You select multiple because we want to select multiple levels. And then you would go level three, control, level, roof. And then you click finish. The finish that you click is this one down here. Okay. And the reason for that is once you do finish, it's just a little message. It's irrelevant now. It, once you click that finish, you're still in the copy monitor environment. And what this is allowing you to do is, if you go here to copy monitor, you can still monitor. Because what's happening is that you are currently monitoring the two levels that you just copied. But the initial levels, the ones that we had by default and, and, and the level two that I aligned to the architect's level two, those are not being monitored yet. So if you click here on monitor, you wanna monitor level one to architect's level one and level two to architect's level two. And then you click finish and now you not only have all your levels created, let me just drag this out so we can see them, all right? We have all our levels created, but also if you click on this guys, they're all monitoring, see? So that's my favorite. Now notice that we have this blue ball here is telling you that level two has a view associated to it. But this level, level three, has no views associated to it yet. And the roof doesn't have um, associated views either. So what we do is let's create some, some views for level three and roof. How do we do that? We come here to view, and then under plan views, you select floor plan. And then notice that it's giving you the options for level three and roof, which are the the remaining ones. So uh, let's do that. Let's create both. And now here they are level three and roof. Now if we go back to our elevation, notice how they turn blue. Now let's just rename our floor plans. Level 
level 1, level 2, level 3, and now we want to create some ceiling plants as well. So similarly, we just come here to plan views and we select reflected ceiling plan. Now we select level 3 and actually the roof doesn't have a ceiling plan. So let's just create level 3. Let's go OK. And there it is. I notice that I don't see it here under ceiling plans, but this new subcategory co coordination was created. So if I dig in a little bit under this question marks, I find the ceiling plans. So the reason why this guy didn't fall under ceiling plans mechanical is because if you come here to subdiscipline, it's blank. So all we have to do is change this to HVAC and here under discipline, take it out of coordination and just put it under mechanical. And now it's where it's supposed to be. So let's rename this. And just like that, we have all our floor plans, all our ceiling plans, and all our levels ready to go. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, make sure you get notifications. See you in the next video.